Hey everyone, Shakra is here, and today we're having a look at Damwon Gaming and how they played their early match against Stroke. They had a 2k gold lead at 10 minutes and a 3k gold lead at 12 minutes, and this lead was mainly created without kills. Let's start with the draft. In the first phase, Damwon responded to the Hecarim pick with Graves. They blinded Ash and blind picked Pantheon support, who can function as a flex after seeing the Callista pick. In the second phase, Damwon responded to both of Rogue's solo lane picks, picking Silas into Syndra, Lulu into Gangplank. As a result of that draft, Damwon have the winning jungle matchup, at least concerning early dueling. Uh, outside of that, they have control over most of their lanes where they can get priority. What I want to highlight here is how Canyon leverages his laners to invade and counter jungle, and also open up a deeper discussion which is about how teams like Damwon use their jungler, where the laners play for their jungler, which is a very different style from what you usually see from most EU and A teams such as G2 or Team Liquid. Other good examples of what I'm talking about are Suning or DRX for example, as I touched in my last video. In my opinion, the early lead Damwon created was exacerbated by the draft and how the level 1 played out, so let's have a look. Rogue decide to war the topside river and have their bot lane leash for Hecarim's red. To me, this is a huge mistake for two reasons. Hecarim is in a losing jungle matchup where he can't duel graves, so his goal is to farm as many camps as possible without being contested. Despite warding the top river, nothing is going to stop graves from invading Rogue's topside as none of his laners can move to aid him. So Hecarim should be starting on this side of the map to at least secure blue plus walls before moving down. On the other hand, Rogue's bot lane. Forcing a Callista lane to leash means they arrive late to lane and lose the opportunity to contest for level 2. Damwon take advantage of this fully, immediately moving past the minion line to poke and zone them out, which will help dictate the pushing advantage for them in this matchup. Damwon's plan, on the other hand, is very simple. Have Graves go from red into a topside invade to either find Hecarim or take his camps. Once Damwon have the information that bot lane leashed, they know he's going to move in to steal camps. In the meantime, Nuguri on Lulu uses his advantage to build up a wave and crash it into Finn as Canyon ganks, netting them an easy first blood. From here, watch the pings. As soon as Hecarim is spotted, Ash and Pantheon leave lane to find him and make sure he isn't invading and taking camps while Canyon on Graves rushes down from top to bot. Ultimately, they push him off the bot scuttle. At 405, and as he sees Hecarim help Gangplank push out his lane, Canyon moves from his raptors to the enemy walls that just respawned. This is pre-planned as he knows that camp is coming up next. Back at level 2, Ash skilled Hawkshot and found an 8cs Hecarim at raptors moving down to Krugs, meaning he had cleared red into wolves. This invade is facilitated by Showmaker's TP in the mid lane. He TPs back to lane and sacrifices his health pool to make sure that he can push Syndra in and limit her, so she can't ever move out of lane. From Wolves, Canyon crosses over and attempts to steal the Raptors, which ends up being a bit too greedy as Rogue are now in a position to contest since Hecarim is coming off of base and Silas is low on health, but he still steals two small Raptors. At 505, Barrel on Pantheon sees Rogue's bot lane resetting and immediately uses this to move into the enemy jungle and find Hecarim, giving his jungler more info on the enemy's pathing. You can see this trend continue as the game goes. Coming off of base, Canyon clears his topside camps and moves to invade and steal the second blue as it spawns, as Damwon just spotted Hecarim on the bottom side of the map with yet another hawkshot. From here, he moves to solo capture the Herald. With Rogue's topside camps respawning next, they know that's where Hecarim will be. So they preemptively move into his bot side jungle using mid and bot priority, they ward up the enemy jungle, and they look for a potential catch. But Hecarim is aware of this. In any case, they stay around for a few more seconds to steal raptors as they spawn before moving to get the first dragon. Overall, and even though they blundered quite a bit in their fights right after 10 minutes, Damwon never really let go of their 3k gold lead, and they cruised to a victory against the LEC hopefuls in Rogue. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I wanted to use this to highlight different jungling styles at Worlds 2020, if there's enough interest and if I have enough time, I might follow up and compare and contrast how different teams utilize their junglers. See you guys in the next video.